Well, more questions than answers seem to be a theme from the last 18 months. Asking questions, though, is good because it helps us figure out what we don't know, right? Knowing, as that is, they had, as they say, I should say, is half the battle. I think G.I. Joe said that, right? When it comes to COVID, we're still learning, like, a lot. So when we see some of your questions that you sent in during the show, sometimes the first time we've ever thought about that idea, and so we want to find out the answer for you. We got a lot of questions recently uh, on vaccine types, mixing vaccines with all these boosters starting to become available and eligible. And Joe, you have an answer to that question mm -hmm. because uh, this is something that a lot of people have asked. You know, if you were taking, if you got the Pfizer, could you be available for another vaccine with the uh, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca's out mm -hmm. there as well? Yeah. There's a lot going on in our community right now, Brian, and there's a lot of people that did those vaccine trials. So let me set the stage real quickly and we'll, we'll, we'll fast forward here. But for starters, let's start with this. The Treasure Valley was home to a COVID vaccine test from AstraZeneca early this year, late last year. And the vaccine is still being studied around the world, but it is not approved for use in the United States. So questions have emerged from that group, the AstraZeneca trial group. They want to know if they could now go get another vaccine from a different company that is approved in the US, like Moderna or Pfizer. Same goes for getting a booster shot. Now, the AstraZeneca trial participants are curious if they can go get a Pfizer booster shot. There's no other boosters available right now. It was honestly very brave for people to sign up for a vaccine trial, but now they're telling us they have concerns about getting enough protection from COVID. Now, interestingly enough, in other countries like Europe, there are people mixing and matching, so to speak, different vaccines from different companies. First, I asked state epidemiologist Dr. Christine Hahn about those topics today. First, here's her insight on if the U.S. could approve mixing different vaccines and boosters. There's obviously the two issues again, safety and uh, efficacy. Does it is it going to bump up your um, antibodies at the, at the rate that they hope it does? And is it safe to do this? So that data is going to be discussed in October. I've seen a little bit of it already in some of my, my work. Um, and I think it looks promising and we might get a recommendation that it is okay to mix and match. Uh, but for the moment that is not available, but in the few weeks we may hear differently. So stay tuned on that. All right, heading back to people who are in a vaccine trial like AstraZeneca, who are now hoping to get a booster from Pfizer or possibly Moderna or Johnson & Johnson in the near future. Here's advice from Dr. Hahn if you were part of a vaccine trial and now are interested in going outside that. Say, I don't want to be part of this trial anymore. Um, I don't, you know, as long as you're in a trial, you want to follow the rules, right? You know, if, they, if they're studying the AstraZeneca vaccine, you don't go get another vaccine secretly. But if you really feel strongly that you want to consider getting, let's say, a booster with Pfizer once this mix and match data is out there, um, you will then need to go to your trial um, folks and let them know that you are probably exiting the trial to, let's say, go get a booster. So that, so for people in clinical trials, I tell them it's really up to them to decide if they want to stay in their trial and stick with what they've started with that or if they want to um, exit the trial and do what they think is best for their health, which is totally okay. So great advice there from state epidemiologist Dr. Christine Hahn. Long story short, Brian, we're going to learn a lot more about vaccines and different vaccines and how they interact in the coming weeks. And just because you're in a trial doesn't mean you can't go get a different vaccine. Correct. Just talk to your doctor, of course. All right, thanks, Joe.